When I started audio engineering and when I started learning audio engineering, there was only one thing in the whole world that really mattered for audio engineers. I mean, we all really understand what we were doing, but the only thing we weren't agreeing on all was the loudness of music productions. And not only the loudness, but also the squashing of the music. So, so taking away the dynamic range to make it all louder, but also destroy everything you did in the process before. The EBU, the European Broadcasting Union, wanted to make an end to the loudness. First of all, the loudness of commercials, of commercials on TV, and later on also on music, but they didn't know how to do it yet. But what they did know was that we needed to have a way to actually measure the loudness. And they made it. The description on, on how to measure loudness is actually not that difficult. It's, it's three pieces of paper. Uh, I have to say this is double-sided uh, printed because my printer decided that it should be double-sided. This is actually all it is. It's uh, developed and you can see it over here. If my camera wants to... It's uh, uh, June 2014. So since, since then, uh, we know how to measure loudness. We still don't know how to implement it in our current workflow. Well, we know it, but there are still uh, innovations being made in the world of loudness analyzing. And today I want to look at one of them, and uh, that is the uh, Butte Loudness Suite from Signum Audio. I hope that I'm pronouncing it the correct way. Uh, if not, um, yeah. So when first opening the loudness suite, um, it actually looks pretty straightforward. As a normal loudness analyzer, we have our peak program meter, our short-term loudness, our long-term loudness and our RMS meter as always. And we also have a nice history. But one of the things that this analyzer does compared to other ones is it saves the analysis. So after we've played the track back, it remembers it. So if we scroll through the timeline, it is linked to the timeline, which is pretty great because we don't want to play it back every time we want to make a new analysis. Now we can just simply put it on our master bus and uh, just let it run there and it will do the analysis on the background and whenever we want to look at it, we can just look at it without having to wait, which is great. What you can also do is export the analysis so you can use it later on in a different session with the same program material maybe or you know, whatever. So so that's that's a real cool thing. It also has a built-in limiter, which is uh, great because the loudness analyzer is most of the time the last thing in our chain uh, on our master bus. And what this built-in limiter does is making completely sure that nothing uh, exceeds the zero dB mark and nothing clips in our end product. So, so that's great. You, you can also turn it off, by the way, if you don't want to have it. But it's nice that it's in there and it's just an extra check to make sure that you're not sending clipped files to your client or whatever you need to send it to. So this is all cool, but it gets really cool when you use it as an audio suite plugin. For people that don't know Audio Suite, Audio Suite is a function in Pro Tools that uh, does actually uh, analysis and rendering uh, offline on separated uh, audio clips. And the Signum Audio Butte Loudness Suite really comes to life when you use it like that. Because while well, we can index the loudness of a whole file or even a whole uh, album, I did a whole album uh, in it to check if all the levels were the same just in one go and it, it takes like 30 seconds or something so it's it's a real quick way to check the loudness the overall loudness of a track or an album or whatever and what you can do then is press the render button and it will then normalize your audio to whatever you have specified and it comes with a lot of presets for that you can normalize it as the uh, r128 commercial uh, norm which is minus 23 lofs you can also normalize it for Tidal and Spotify. You know, there are a lot of presets built in, which is great. As soon as you press render, it will first analyze the track once more and then, uh, you know, normalize everything to uh, to that standard, uh, which is a real quick way to export perfect masters for uh, Spotify or whatever. But this does come at the price of having it to use as an audio suite plugin. And this is where my point of critique comes in. Because if you buy it as a uh, VST or audio unit user, you're not getting the full potential out of this plugin. Because a loudness analyzer, well, 
there are a lot of them out there already. And what makes this thing unique is the uh, the audio suite function and the normalizing function. And what I would like to see in this plugin in the future is that it would also be capable of normalizing the audio when being a, just a normal uh, VST audio unit or AAX uh, insert uh, at the end of our master bus. I don't know how this should work, but maybe a first run through the plugin to uh, getting to know the audio and then you can enable the normalization or something, but because it's, it's simply just a volume fader that needs to do that. So it would be great to have that in the future, uh, but for now the, the audio suite function is really great. So if you're running Pro Tools, I really recommend checking it out. I will link it below in the description, of course. It's, it's a loudness analyzer and then again the, mo the most about loudness uh, what I can tell is in this paper from the EBU from the uh, European Broadcasting Union. If you want to know more about loudness just google R128 EBU R128 and uh, you will learn exactly how a loudness analysis works. So there's not really much more that I can tell about this plugin. So I really like a clear disclosure of uh, of how things work on this channel and this plugin was given to me by the guys from Signum to review. There hasn't been any money exchanged for me to make this review, I just got the plugin. I don't know if I will keep using it or not. If they make it capable of doing the normalization uh, in line real time, I might be uh, be able to use it, but because I'm moving away from Pro Tools, I probably won't. So with that being said, I want to end this video over here. If you liked it, let me know with a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then you know it's better not. Leave a comment below with ideas for future videos, something else you wanted to say or whatever. Check out my Patreon campaign over here. Uh, we are really building a whole army of patrons right now. So uh, sign up for my patrons. There are a few things that are about to happen on Patreon. So be sure to check it out. Also check out one of my other videos over here. Thanks a lot for watching this one and I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye bye.